Okay, da- guys, so today I am going to be doing my special 10 subscriber video. This video is going to be special. I'm also going to be doing a video like this for 50 subscribers, 100 subscribers, 1,000, and so on. So, um, thank you guys for subscribing, and if, um, if you see this, to, um, share your, share it to your friends if your friends like this kind of stuff too. I really need more subscribers, and thanks for your support. So, let's get into the video. Okay, so this video is gonna be, like, my top 10 most favorite action figures of all time. I couldn't really think of anything else. I was thinking about doing, like, like, um, like, plans later on for the channel, but I don't, I kind of changed my mind, so I'm not going to be doing that anymore, so hope you guys, um, like this video, so let's get into it. So, starting off with honorable mentions, um, first we have Croc Master and Fiona, so, these are the ones that you just saw on the vi- the first part of the video. So, yeah. But, these guys are really cool. I really like that Fiona's, like, super detailed. I really like that also that uh, Croc Master comes with a bunch of accessories. And, it's pretty cool. I don't even have all their accessories out right now. They still have two of their, like, mini crocodiles. Um, or, like, baby crocodiles. And, and a leash, too. So, that's pretty cool. That's why I like Croc Master. So, for the next honorable mention, we have Vulcan. Vulcan is very cool, and I like to pretend this guy's the most powerful guy in the galaxy, because he's pretty cool. He looks like he's one of the most powerful guys in the galaxy. He has yellow eyes, if you can see that. But, um, yeah, he's pretty cool, so I think that's why he's on my honorable mentions. So, then the next one is Ned B. Now, I have done a review on Ned B. I'm going to be doing a review on everyone else um, for the honorable mentions and pretty much everyone else for the top 10. So, um, Ned B is very cool. He doesn't come with a lot of accessories, but I just think he's really cool to me. So, yeah. So, for Ned B. So, the final honorable mention is Ripley. Ripley's really cool. I really like him. And he's pretty big, and he's shiny and see-through. So that's why I like him. I do have, like, the smaller version of Sludge. But I'm not going to be pulling him out right now. He is a little, um, buried. So, yeah. I also will be doing a review on Ripley pretty soon. So, yeah. That is all for honorable mentions. So let's get into the top ten. So starting off at number ten, we have Lombro. Lombro's very cool. I will also probably be doing a review on Lombro. This guy is so cool. I got him in the summer and he was really cool. So yeah, he just he is a um he comes with a few accessories. His harvesting tool, the cool grenade not launcher he comes with, and his back bling. And I think this guy is really cool for like the winter and stuff. I did play with him a lot during Christmas time. And I'm playing with him a lot right now too because it is um still winter. But winter is coming to an end soon, so, yeah. But, um, yeah, so that's Lombro, so let's get into the next one. Okay, so this next one is pretty controversial. Um, so, everyone does, pretty much everyone does hate this figure, but for my number nine spot, it is Spymaster. Now, Spymaster... Everyone hated him. I got him in 2020. I really liked him. And I made him a little coat that he's wearing right now. So, yeah. it's. I think he's really cool. He he doesn't come with a lot of accessories. He only comes with one gun. This gun, I did lose his gun uh, in 2021. Um, and he had a red gun. But I had it. Um, it was a red version of this gun. So, I just gave, I gave him crossbones gun. I've had this guy for a really long time, and I really like his articulation. It's pretty good. It is the Bucky Cat mold, but I don't care. It's I think it's really cool. I really like his holster that he has, and yeah, I just think he's really cool. So, yeah, that is it for Spy Masters. So let's get into the number eight spot. 
Okay, at the number eight spot, we have a, also a guy that I have not reviewed. Um, also, I will not be reviewing Spy Master because he came out a really long time ago. And um, he's really old right now when I got him. He came out in 2020 and I bought him in 2020. So he's about three years old. So, yeah. Okay, for the number eight spot, though, we have um the alley viper the alley viper i will be reviewing though he's really cool though he has some really cool guns i don't have all his accessories out right now but he comes with a lot of accessories he comes with a little pistol in his holster and a knife here and a knife here but they're both in their holsters he comes with a backpack and two other guns so i think it's pretty cool i really like how he looks and he comes with a lot of accessories too so that's why I picked him for the number 8 spot. So let's get into the next um, figure. Okay, for my number 7 spot, I have a figure that I really liked. Not a lot of people liked him, but I think he's pretty cool. He came out in 2022. This is the Iron Spider. This guy, I, I think, is really cool. He has really good articulation, pinless joints, and his claws are super cool on him. So, yeah, I did break off the back so I could just have a plain Spider-Man. It does have a couple holes in it, but this does peg back in. It's a little loose, but I don't really care. Um, so, yeah, I really like this Spider-Man. He has an iron suit, and he's really shiny. He has lots of good paint. No paint, um, no bad paint on him. So, yeah, that's why I like him, and that's why I put him at the number seven spot. So, let's get into the number six spot. Okay, at my number six spot, I have, um, a Star Wars figure, and this is the, um, Dark Trooper from The Mandalorian. This guy has really good articulation, he's really shiny, and he has lots of detail, too. And he comes with a couple accessories, he comes with some replaceable hands, a gun, and some, like, flight effects. So, he's pretty cool, I really like him, and, yeah, his head looks up really far too so you can get in like some flying poses so yeah that's why i like him so let's get into the number five spot okay so at no my number five spot i have another fortnite figure and that is midas rex midas rex is also very cool i really like him he comes with a couple accessories and some hidden ones and his holsters that you can take out those guns are pretty cool um sorry about that but um I really like him because uh, he um, comes with a couple accessories and he has lots of detail all over him. He has really good articulation and he comes with a replaceable head too. So I really like that too. I like having him unmasked. So that's why I have, I don't have his um, mask on or his helmet on. But yeah, I will be doing review on him too. So yeah, that's my number five spot. So let's get into the number four spot. Okay, for my number four spot, getting into the top five, we have uh, Outback, or the Tiger Force Outback, at least. This guy, I think, is better than the normal Outback. His shirt looks a lot cooler, and I like how he has the gray hair. So, yeah, that's why I like him. He has a lot of accessories, too. Lots of detail, good articulation. He has pinless joints and no hindrances. And I really like how he looks. He's like a survival guy so yeah that's why i like him at the number four spot so let's get into the number three spot at my number three spot we do have two characters and these guys are tomax and zaymon these guys are also very cool i really like how they look they have lots of detail they have penless joints no hindrances they come with a couple accessories so that's why i like them they're just they just look cool to me so yeah that's why I like them um, at the number three spot. But before I go to the number three spot, um, uh, these guys, uh, or the number two spot, I think are pretty cool because, or let's take a look at their guns first. So their guns are very cool. They have the magazine pops out. You can put it back in and there's this like muffler thing that comes out from the front. I like to keep them in because it looks cooler with that. So, yeah, that's why I like them at the number three spot. So, let's get into the number two spot.
Okay, so at my number two spot, I have a character that is related to Easter, and that is Cluck. Sorry if he's out of the camera, but Cluck is really cool. He has a really cool gun. I really like his gun. I pretend that it shoots dinosaur teeth um, out of it because it's like a dinosaur gun. And he has some pretty cool accessories. And he's just a big, beefy character. And he doesn't really have any hindrances, even though he's, like, super thick and stuff. His, um, his legs are penless, too. And that's surprising, because his legs are really skinny and tiny. So, yeah. And he does have a single hinge at the elbow, but that is okay, because his arms are super tiny. So, yeah, that's why I like Cluck. So, let's get into the number one spot. Okay, so at the number one spot, this is going to be kind of surprising maybe for you guys, but the number one spot goes to Beast Man. Now, I don't have any other um, Masters of the Universe figures, but this one just stood out to me. He looked really cool, and I was like, this guy looks super cool. So, I put him on my Christmas list, and I got him for Christmas. So... This guy, he has lots of articulation, not many hindrances, um, lots of accessories, and he just is really big. So, yeah, he's, like, super tall. All his, like, his, like, he's, like, taller than Crow, and Crow is pretty tall. That's the tallest figure. So, this is the tallest figure I have. He just looks cool to me, and I really like him. So, yeah. So, that is why I like, um... Uh, Beast Man at the number one spot. And, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So, um, before I go, um, make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a like. And if you could, you could leave a comment if you wanted. I really would appreciate if uh, some people would leave comments. And also subscribe and hit that like button. I don't have a lot of subscribers right now, but, um, thank you guys for all your support. Um, um, for 10 subscribers, um, I'm, as, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm gonna be doing it for, um, 50 subscribers, a special video for 50 subscribers, and, um, for 100, and 1,000, and so on, so, um, um, thank you for subscribing, I really appreciate that, and, um, also, um, hopefully, I will see you in the next video, so bye guys.